hi welcome back I want to say thanks for spending some of your holiday season with me here as well as every week for the past year we've made some incredible memories had some amazing thrifting adventures I am so thankful for all of it and for the opportunity to just share it with such an awesome community here and today I wanted to take a look back at some of the best thrift finds as well as some of the best moments and experiences from the past year on this channel Let's get right into the meat of it and look back at my best finds of the year. Oh my God. Okay, so the other thing about the store is they do not individually tag any items. Everything is like flat rate pricing for the most part, I believe. I think this code is only $7. That's insane. Sweater dress, though. We're, we're putting that in the cart. Here it is, possibly my favorite find of the entire year. This vintage Angora knit dress. The pattern, the puff sleeves, this is gonna be so fun to style. I feel like I could really play up this like 80s rock star vibe with it. having so much fun with this. <laughs> like on your forearms. Cha, 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 cha. Yeah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. about this one. It is this western motif knit sweater. 
sweater vest. The coolest feature on here is the yeehaw rope on the back. Ah, can you even handle this? It's so cool. It gets even better. It gets even better. There is a little knit bandana kerchief that comes with it. Yeehaw. <laughs> show you my vintage tea haul from this store. It is incredible. It's just, it's everything. It's perfect. Yay, vintage teas. <laughs> I found this little Italian Batosi vase. And just the other day, I was in a local to me thrift store and found another Batosi piece of pottery that it doesn't exactly match, but coordinates with the piece that I bought. I got it for $2 um, and it has this like a gold inlay. Like I just think it's so beautiful. And I love these two pieces next to each other on my, on the shelf in my entryway. So yeah, I can't believe I got this for $2. I got it for only three bucks. The colors in this are so amazing and I love it actually over the back of my armchair that I film with. So that could end up being a way for me to like spice up my background from time to time. So that's worth living for now. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did bring home this little disco ball from my last video, which was the, the Halloween costume contest. And this was part of one of my costumes. I decided to bring it home. I've been wanting a disco ball for home decor. It's a mid-century dream tree. This is the second one that I have found recently. I think they look so beautiful and they really catch the light and now I'm kind of glad that I have my own. This is an antique item that is either traditionally used as a stand to hold ladies gloves or to hold a post. Um, I have read it two different ways on the internet. I'll show you how I'm actually using this piece. I've been keeping my masks on it and just hanging them from the little hands. <laughs> Modern problems require beautiful antique solutions. <laughs> Wait, what? Do you see that? Oh my god. That is so cute too. It's 
$8. It's mine. <laughs> I'm so excited about that find! Look, I found the pants that go with it. <gasps> it's still on the tax. Oh my god. This is the best day ever. Ted Lapidus sunglasses. Um, I found Burberry. This is the second time I've found Burberry in this store. I can't believe it. Absolutely deceased. This is 100% silk Diane von Furstenberg with gold embroidery. It is tagged as an extra small, so there's probably no way it'll fit me, but oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, so cool. Oh, somehow some magical way this DVF blouse that's tagged in extra small actually fits me and it's gorgeous. Look at the sleeve. Oh, I don't know if I can part with this one, you guys. <laughs> it's so good. between like and love. I like my Christian Dior sweatsuit, but I love my Prada backpack. If you know, you know. <laughs> I love you too. Just looking back at all of this makes me see how lucky I am as a thrifter. When it comes to my personal style, it can be a little all over the place. Sometimes I think I'm a little bit of a blank canvas because I want to show a variety of styles that could appeal to a number of people who would be watching. And my ultimate goal is really just to encourage people to give secondhand shopping a chance before buying new. But I did think it'd be fun to take a look back at some of my favorite styled looks of the year. I'm like thrift store Barbie.
Oh my God, Ruger. I walked by to grab something out of my room and this is how he's napping today. <laughs> you are so cute. Just cheesing, huh? Did you just wink at me? <laughs> I just winked. One of the perks of this job is that people often contact me through Instagram and they will talk to me about some of their amazing finds. I have like this own personal hotline of people telling me about these incredible things in the thrift stores and I love that. So on that note, I thought it'd be fun to share some of your best thrift finds and I had solicited through Instagram and here on YouTube for people to send submissions of their best thrift finds of the year and now we're gonna see what other people have been finding. Hi, Nikki Terry. I've been following you uh, this year on your thrifting adventures on YouTube, and I have a best find for this year and probably the best find I've ever found in all my thrifting years. Uh, I found this in a store in a Goodwill thrift in Sacramento area. Um, it was sort of tarnished, like it needed polishing, and I guess whoever put it out for $1.99 didn't know that it was real silver and turquoise and it's a really heavy duty beautiful piece with silver leaves on the sides and beautiful twisted silver and a beautiful hunk of turquoise in the middle so I'm adding it to my collection So this is my chance to say thank you so much to everyone who submitted. We loved seeing what you guys found. As I've been saying, the connections that I've made here are really important to me and have been a huge reason why I continue to do this channel. This brings me nicely to the next thing I wanna talk about, which were all of the amazing collabs I got a chance to do this year. You're scaring me with this, but I would try it on. If you pick it, I have to put it on. She has to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a very serious thrift here. Like there are strict rules. <laughs> okay, okay. Let the games begin. <laughs> All right, we're heading over to the dresses. And now that I know that there's a rule that if I pick it out, Jody has to try it on, like, came on. <laughs> When in doubt, just hoard the clothes, because if we put it in our cart, it means they can't put it in their cart. <laughs> I'll play dirty in this costume contest. <laughs> We're in it to win it. Wish me luck. These guys are already done, and we're like maybe halfway done, so. <laughs> Terry and I gotta kick this in a high gear, but we were up to it, we're up to the challenge. Paula is so organized, I've thrifted with her before, and her cart is neat, it looks like everything coordinates, and then you look at my cart. <laughs> <laughs> 
Team Chaos. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what Paula's team came up with. Ooh. Here we go. Costume number one. Oh, oh my gosh. That is you awesome. Okay. Today is a special style challenge with my friend Katie, Poppy K on YouTube and Instagram. We have to thrift an outfit for the evening and a complete outfit for the daytime as well. So two different looks, everything thrifted, of course. Why do I really like this sweater? Let's we'll put it in the cart, just in case. <laughs> this could be really cute for like a sporty kind of athleisure look. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, okay, into the massive cart. So the dresses are really good. I feel like that gives me a little bit of an ace in the hole with creating at least one of my looks. I'm getting nervous. I'm gonna lose this challenge. Like, it's too important. I gotta beat her. <laughs> Root for me, guys. Go USA. <laughs> Looking back, I'm so thankful that I was able to create some traveling, thrifting series for you in the past year. This year I did a big series in San Antonio, Texas, a couple of mini series in Southwest Virginia, and one including some stores in Tennessee. And I also headed back out to my hometowns in Washington State for a couple of mini series there. I really couldn't do a best of these trips because I have to say all of these memories are so special to me and there was just too much that happened. So if you missed any of those traveling series and you wanna go catch up on the highlights, I would recommend going to my channel playlist and I have organized playlists for you there to catch up on those series. There were a few specific thrifting experiences that I really wanted to highlight. I think one of the coolest opportunities of the past year was being invited to film behind the scenes for the fall reset at my favorite thrift store here in my town. The store is getting ready to open and there's already like a line of people figure, outside. Like last year. This is a really good thrift store. <laughs> I love shopping here. They are doing a grand reopening today for the fall. So the store has been reset with all of their most recently donated products and everything with a fall seasonal flair. Everything you see on the floor is just like, oh yes, this is Diane right here this amazing dress. This is a 90s dream right here. Oh wow, this is a Cezanne blouse. Oh, it's still new with tags. 100% silk. Okay. I know I shouldn't be surprised because I always find really great items at this store, but I'm still like, wow, look at this. <laughs> Everything's so fresh today because they just did their fall reset. $12. Okay. Carol Baskin. It's a belt bag. My little basket here is filling up. My little basket overflows with joy. <laughs> so good. But I'm going to say the best thrifting experience of the past year didn't take place at a thrift store, but was at an estate sale. And this was truly once in a lifetime. This estate sale was incredible with designer, high-end fashion, really great prices, and just an amazing collection. As I walked into this first room, the staff member turned to me and said, pace yourself, there's more. And that's when I knew it was gonna be so, so good. This is like absolutely insane. A ton of stuff is like new with tags. And uh, now we're getting ready to look at purses. And then there's like a whole other floor. 
Wow. You'll be able to tell as we go through here, but they had set up the kitchen to house all of the bags and purses, and it was just floor to ceiling, hundreds of bags. There's this room and like two other bigger rooms filled with clothing. It's kind of funny because now I'm like seeing so many designer pieces that if I see something from like TJ Maxx, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Normally I would not be that way. Like it's, this is just a mind boggling scenario. <laughs> I think I just have a couple rooms left, but I have to pare down my pile before I can move on. Like, I can no longer carry it around. Do you like this sweater? Yeah, it's not bad. But do I look like a grandma wearing it? <laughs> yeah, but you always look like a grandma. I'm so excited. I'm definitely reaching a point of being overwhelmed. Like this might be the best estate ever. I have this whole closet behind me to look at and I think that's it, but my pile is huge. Wow, wow. Pile update. Look at all that. Oh my God. It's out of control. Unbelievable. Your girl gets lucky. <laughs> In any case, I'm so thankful for that experience and for all of the experiences of the past year. Again, thankful that you all have been here for it all, for all the good and the bad. And if you didn't catch my last video, I did create a thrifting fails of 2021 video that's now available to watch. That one includes much more of the mistakes and poor choices I've made and a whole lot of bloopers. So if you like things like that, you want to go check out that video. But truly, it is my honor to create this content for you and to be part of the whole secondhand and thrifting community. I'm looking forward to another great year of thrifting and thrifting adventures. I have a lot of amazing things in mind for what we're going to be doing. I am considering taking some time off in January, so if you don't see me post new videos for a while, again, feel free to go into my channel playlist and there are plenty of episodes for you to catch up on of all the thrifting adventures we've had in the recent months. But I want to wish you happy holidays and happy new year and cheers to more adventures in 2022.